hello everyone, this is Spaceburn, and I'm just going to quickly show you how to fix the new um, uh, CV log4j exploit, which is currently affecting Minecraft and well, many other Minecraft, um, not Minecraft, many other Java applications that use log4j. So basically, if you don't know what the exploit is, it is an exploit using the log4j Apache library, whatever. I'm not going to go into it because this is meant for people that don't really care or understand about it. But basically, it's like a code library in Java, and there's an exploit in it. Or well, this is basically an exploit in a piece of code which a lot of Java applications use that allows you to um, uh, remotely execute code on it. So, to give you an example of what it would look like in Minecraft, there is this video here, which I'm going to quickly play. I'll link it in the description if you want to fully watch it. But as you can see, you can like put in that special string of code of code into the chat, and then, for example, you can remotely run code. So, for example, he or she remotely ran the calculator. That you could do a lot more deadly stuff, like um, I don't know, you could steal logins and something like that. Anyway, to fix it, first you want to go to the first link in the description, and it'll take you to this GitHub page. And here, you should see releases for this. Uh, Patcher by Creeperhost, which is like a Minecraft server hosting server. You want to click on the top thing in the assets, it's like, it could be a different number for you, but for me it's 101. So you just want to click on the jar file to download first, so you'll just click on it and then it will download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. But um, yeah, you basically just download the jar and put it in a safe place. Now go to installations, click on the installation you want to patch, I want to patch a this one here, so Minecraft 1.18. See, so so you want to click on the um, uh, folder icon that will appear when you hover over it at this area of the launcher, and that will take you to your .minecraft folder. So your one will probably look different to mine because I've used a lot of different custom modified versions of the game and whatnot. But you, but it doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter. What all you want to do now is just copy in the jar file like mine is there. You just want to copy that in. Once it's there, you can close it. That is it. Now. Go back to that ver version that you want to modify, click edit, go to more options, and scroll down until you find JVM arguments. Now, this may look intimidating, but this is all you need to know. Copy the first thing in the description, or like, no, sorry, copy the first thing in the pinned comment, which would be this, and then you want to go to the back of JVM arguments where it will say heat per region size equals 32m, press space once after the m, and then paste it in and save. That is it. Now, if you want to modify another version, like 1.18.1, which I think I've already done actually. Yeah, I have. You just want to you just put it in there and you don't have to copy the file across again because it's obviously already there. Mojang might release a patch this soon ish, but for now this is, I mean, yeah, they're talking about it there, but this is what you should just do now. Now, all you got to do now is just click play. I have my output log on to show you what's going to happen. So basically, when the game decides to launch, oh, there's the output log. What it will do is it will run the jar file, which has the patch, which will block that exploit, which I showed you in the video before, from working. So now all you got to do, I'm just going to enable debug because I can. All you've got to basically do is just uh, wait for the game to launch. As you can see here, mine is currently out downloading some stuff for 1.18. So I, will sh sh I will probably cut back when I am finished downloading and I'm in the game. But basically, this is all you have to do. But I will cut back to show you that yes, the game will um, uh, run and whatnot. So I'll see you in one second. Okay, and we're launched now. I have to, to change the version because I had to download the newer ones because I don't really play them. But as you can see, the game will look normally enough for that. It's uh, pretty simple. I'm going to make a new creative world here. I am uh, quickly will to see if that it will just run like a normal Minecraft was. So um, I'm not, I'm not bothered to wait. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and.